when I was maybe around seven, I remember I had this spiral notebook and I, I, I just learned about binary. And I remember writing in red various numbers translated into binary. I think just manipulating numbers makes me feel happy. I was involved in these problem-solving competitions. And I was 12 when I, I went to the Math Olympiad and I won a bronze medal there. I finished high school that year and then I went on to college. I was interested in number theory and there weren't so many people in Australia who studied number theory. So that was an impetus to go to the US for graduate school. I guess I was 16 at that time. I'm currently a professor of mathematics at Stanford University. I've been spending this year visiting the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton. It's a little bit isolated, so you really have a sense of being uh, protected from a lot of everyday cares when you go there. A big part of my work has been trying to find more ways in which homogeneous dynamics can be used in number theory. Here's an example of dynamics. First, imagine a triangle or another shape, and you have a ball and it bounces off, and it, but imagine it sort of doesn't slow down, so it just keeps bouncing around. Are there any spaces that it avoids? Any spaces the ball prefers, spends a lot of time. And now, if the sides of the triangle are curved, it becomes even more complicated. And a big part of my work has been using those ideas to solve problems in number theory. I also use tools from representation theory a lot. One of the things I've been thinking about recently is the topology of locally symmetric spaces. And I'm trying to understand some mysterious symmetries that seem to exist there. In math, we tend to be obsessive. And it's good, I think, to be forcibly stopped from thinking about something. Children are very good at, at really shutting off your attempt to do anything else. So running definitely clears my mind. Um, it's very meditative. If, it, if I'm thinking about a problem and, uh, and I'm running and I'm still thinking about the problem, I just have to run a little bit faster and then I can't think about it anymore. A lot of the time when you do math, you're stuck. But at the same time, there are all these moments where you feel privileged that you get to work with it. And you have this sensation of transcendence. You feel like you've been part of something really meaningful.